Thank you, Mark. Well, for the past few weeks, most of us, maybe some of us, have been fascinated by the Bruton cicadas. Some people, though, even adding the insects to their collection. If they collect insects, <laughs> and they're not the only ones. Right now in D.C., there is the world's largest collection of cicadas. The National Museum of Natural History has been adding them to its collection for scientific study, with some of the specimens being 150 years old. That's how long they've been around. That's older than the museum itself. <laughs> it's not just cicadas from here, though. It's from all over. It's an Australian species. It's called the drummer cicada. But what makes this particular species hard to collect is the males have really large timbals. They actually exceed 120 decibels, so you have to wear earphones to collect them because they can actually cause permanent hearing damage in large numbers. Wow. Well, the museum's collection actually represents about 70% of cicada diversity, with about 2,500 out of 3,400 species in the whole world. Now, aren't we glad we don't live in Australia? <laughs> the museum was prepared to put together an exhibit in time for the arrival <clears throat> of Brood 10, but due to COVID, those plans were scrapped. For now, 100% of the collection remains strictly for research. Now, that's a gorgeous cicada. I mean, there's no I question. Guess. Beautiful. Yeah, Beautiful one, wing. One got into the house yesterday. Can you imagine what happened? Oh, your dog tried to eat it? We all ducked. Oh. All the grown adult people in the room ducked. <laughs> I thought it was no your collections dog. at my house. No.